Good morning, folks. Dylan here from Fabrication Guy. Today, we're going to be breaking down the differences between the Hobart Air Force 27i, the Hypertherm PowerMax 30XP, and the Hobart Air Force 40i. The reason we're comparing these three machines is these are really popular entry-level professional-grade plasma cutters. These are machines that you can take to job sites. They can withstand a really heavy work environment and they're going to hold up well. You know, you have parts availability, you have warranty, you have good customer service, all the things that you need when you're using a piece of equipment like this professionally. And these are some of the top three picks that we often see. Now, if you've watched our videos before, our number one pick used to be the Hypertherm PowerMax 30XP. It was just a fantastic 30 amp plasma cutter that really had everything we were looking for at the price. However, with Hobart's new Air Force line, it adds a couple of new contenders and we're gonna compare those today. And I'm actually gonna tell you that I think that the Hobart Air Force 40i is the new best bang for your buck for a entry level professional grade plasma cutter. Now, all the information that we're gonna be talking about in this video is coming directly from the manuals and the specific sites of these machines directly from the manufacturer's site, as well as the official Amazon pages for these machines. So I'll have all three of these machines listed on Amazon down in the links below in the video description. If you guys wanna reference those pages, they will be linked down below. Now let's take a look at this comparison chart. In terms of price, all these machines are pretty similar. $1,200 for the 27i, $1,500 for the PowerMax 30XP, and $1,550 for the 40i. In terms of power, 27i comes in at 30 amps, PowerMax 30XP comes in at 30 amps, and the Hobart Air Force 40i comes in at 40 amps. And we'll get more on the power later. I'm gonna show you guys some very specific cut ratings that really shows the difference between the power. Um, but on the surface, both of these machines are dual voltage, meaning you can use them on 110 and 220, which is very important to make it adaptable to a wide variety of environments. However, keep in mind, if you're using these machines on 110, all three of these machines are gonna have very, very similar performance. They'll be able to cut you know, quarter inch mild steel. That's about the best you can get on a 110 volt connection. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you really have to hook up to 220 to get the full capacity of these machines. Now, when it comes to cut rating, on the surface, the 27i is rated for 3 eighths of an inch. The clean cut for the PowerMax 30XP is rated at half inch and the clean cut for the 40i is rated at 5 eighths of an inch. However, these are kind of blanket ratings. It doesn't really represent the actual power of the machine. So I'm gonna take the time to show you guys the specific cut ratings for all the different thicknesses on each machine because it's really gonna help you identify why the Hobart Air Force 40i is a really great value at the price and why it really beats the PowerMax 30XP. So all of the ratings you're about to see are sourced from the manufacturer's website. So if you're on the homepage of the Hobart Air Force 27i, there's a little link right here that says spec sheet. You can click on this link, it will open a PDF for the specs for the Air Force 27i. Same thing for the Air Force 40i, just click on this spec sheet and it will open the PDF for the 40i where you can view that full cutting table. And then for the PowerMax 30XP, where you're gonna go when you're on the homepage here, you're gonna scroll down to resources. And when you click on resources, it's gonna bring open this menu and you're gonna click on PowerMax 30XP operator manual revision four. That's gonna have all the information that you need with the cut charts for the Hypertherm PowerMax 30XP. So if we take a look at this thickness chart here, on the top here, we have the 27i. Next up, we have the Hypertherm PowerMax 30XP. And after that, we have the Hobart 40i. These are snippets from the actual uh, manuals of each machine showing the official cut ratings. And I have them color coded here for you guys so it's easy to see. So starting out with 3 eighths of an inch, we're talking the green arrow here. On the 27i, it's gonna cut 3 eighths of an inch at 18 inches per minute. So IPM, that's what they use to measure, inches per minute. So if you're at 3 eighths of an inch on max 30 amps with the 27i, you're gonna get 18 inches of cutting per minute. If you go down to the Hypertherm PowerMax 30, it is rated at 20 inches per minute for 3 eighths. And if we go down to the Hobart 40i at 40 amps, so that extra 10 amps of power for the same price, you're gonna get 36 inches per minute. That is almost double the speed of the PowerMax 30XP. So you can really see where that 10 amps of raw power can make a huge difference in cutting speed. So that's gonna be make it's gonna make you a lot more efficient. You can get jobs done faster. It's also gonna provide you with cleaner cuts on thicker material. Now, speaking of thicker material, half inch color-coded with the orange arrow. On the 27i, we have 10 inches per minute. 
On the PowerMax 30 XP, we also have 10 inches per minute. And on the Hobart 40i, with that extra 10 amps of power, we have 22 inches per minute. So over twice as fast as the other two machines. And lastly, 5.8 color coded with the red arrow, 6 inches per minute on the 27i. We have 5 inches per minute on the PowerMax 30, and we have 13 inches per minute on the Hobart 40i. Once again, double, over double the speed, almost triple the speed. So that really goes to show why that extra 10 amps of power makes such a big difference when you look at these specific cut ratings. And this is really why we feel that the Hobart 40i is the overall best value uh, in this price range. Now going back to our comparison chart here, one thing that really is a downfall for the Hobart 27i that we don't like is that it has a starting only pilot arc, meaning that the pilot arc only works to start a cut. So you can start your torch off the tip of the metal and pull into it, but it only works for a small period of time. This means that you can't actually use the pilot arc for cutting things like expanded steel, how you would expect to use a normal pilot arc system. So that's a huge bummer and definitely the downfall of the Hobart 27i and why we we really don't recommend it. You know, any plasma cutter over a thousand dollars should have a true pilot arc system. The PowerMax 30 XP does have a full pilot arc system and the Hobart 40i also has a full pilot arc system. So nothing to worry about there. In terms of lead length, uh, the Hobart machines do come with 12 foot leads, which is kind of a bummer. The Hypertherm PowerMax 30 XP comes with a 15 foot. It would be nice to see a 15 foot lead. Anytime you can get further away from your machine just gives you more flexibility. But last but not least, we wanna take a look at the duty cycle. So duty cycle is the amount of time that a machine can run in a 10 minute period in an environment that's rated at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's basically putting the machine in a pretty rough environment, a very hot day. You know, how much can this machine actually work before it needs to cool down? So the duty cycle on the 27i is 40%. So four minutes out of a 10 minute period at 30 amps. So that's 40%. The PowerMax 30 XP is 35% at 30 amps, so it's a little bit less than the 27i, but the Hobart 40i, 60% at 40 amps. It can run six out of 10 minutes on that maximum output of 40 amps. Once again, showing why I really think the Hobart Air Force 40i is a better value. So guys, I hope this video was helpful in showing the difference between these different machines and why the Hobart Air Force 40i seems to be a really, really good value over some of the other professional grade uh, entry level plasma cutters out there. I mean, that extra 10 amps of power, it just gives undeniable performance differences and you'd be crazy to not go with the 40i over these other two machines or even some of the similar machines like the Miller Spectrum 375 and uh, different machines like that. The Hobart Air Force 40i just really gives you a lot of value for the price. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And like I said, if you guys wanna reference the pages to these machines, they will be linked down below uh, on on Amazon. You guys can check those links down in the video description. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys like this video and found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.